Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best Tony Award performances of all time. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable and unforgettable musical performances from the Tony-nominated shows. We've excluded any performances by the hosts or the award ceremony's opening numbers, as they deserve to be celebrated in their own right. What's your favorite Tony performance ever? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Opening Up Finale and She Used to Be Mine from Waitress, 70th Tony Awards. Opening up. Opening up the performance, we're given a glimpse into Jenna's pie-making world. However, if Tony performances could win Tony Awards, this musical's powerful and heartfelt ballad would be a strong contender. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She Used to Be Mine begins with songwriter and composer Sarah Bareilles at the piano, before transitioning to its Tony-nominated leading actress Jesse Mueller. Both are sensational performers who leave us with chills. The show was nominated for four Tonys, including Best Musical and Best Original Score. And after watching this, it's hard to believe that they didn't win. In all fairness, the competition was pretty stiff that year, with Hamilton dominating most categories. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Number 19. A Day in Falsetto Land from Falsetto's Revival, 71st Tony Awards. A day in Falsetto Land. How was your day? It was terrible. Did you hear that Marvin's back with Whizzer? Marvin's back with Whizzer! When Falsettos arrived on Broadway in the 90s, it won the Tony for Best Book of a Musical and Best Original Score. So when it was revived with Broadway icons Christian Borle, Andrew Rannells, Brandon Uranowitz, and Stephanie J. Block in 2016, we had big expectations. And although the revival didn't win any of its multiple nominations, we were still treated to this animated and exhilarating performance that proved why falsettos will always be a timeless classic. You save lives and I save chicken fat. How am I supposed to deal with that? Do you know how great now I know how great I know how great now I know how great I know how great now I know how great Even if you're unfamiliar with the musical, after watching this star-studded number, you could probably understand why some fans felt that the show had been robbed of a Tony. Number 18. The Phantom of the Opera and the Music of the Night from The Phantom of the Opera, 42nd Tony Awards. Imagine telling audiences back in 1988 that Phantom would one day become the longest-running best musical on Broadway. After watching this rousing performance, they probably would have believed you. Sing, my angel of music, sing for me! Michael Crawford and Sarah Brightman captivated audiences with an electrifying presentation of the title song, and the music of the night. The passion and drama behind these numbers never fails to leave audiences utterly mesmerized. Let your soul take you where you long to be. Fantastic.
Phantom went on to win seven of its ten nominations that night, including Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Musical for its Phantom. Is it any wonder that the show still draws in large crowds after all these years? No. Number 17. Prologue Ragtime from Ragtime, 52nd Tony Awards. This musical follows three communities living in upstate New York at the beginning of the 1900s. The stirring title number, performed at the Tonys, expertly sets up the show's tone. Through the song's lyrics, choreography, and even their costumes, you can really feel the friction between the groups. Among the original Broadway cast are musical legends Brian Stokes Mitchell, Audra McDonald, and the late Marin Mazzi. For many fans, this show is so underrated and deserves more recognition. Nevertheless, in 1998, it led the nominations, receiving a whopping 13. That night, Ragtime won the Tony Awards for Best Book of a Musical and Best Original Score, among others. Number 16. Waving Through a Window from Dear Evan Hansen, 71st Tony Awards. I've learned to slam on the brake before I even turn the key, before I make the mistake, before I lead with the worst of me. Originating the role of Evan Hansen, Ben Platt gives a moving and powerful performance as the awkward titular teen. His portrayal of the character feels so raw and authentic that it's impossible not to sympathize with him. Platt's smooth vocals only elevate the character's depth further, too. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass, waving through a window The show, whose book was written by Stephen Levinson with music from Pasek and Paul, won six out of the nine Tony Awards it was nominated for. This included Best Musical, Best Book of a Musical, and Best Original Score. Aged 23, Platt also became the youngest solo recipient for Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Musical. Number 15, Anything Goes from Anything Goes Revival, 65th Tony Awards. In the olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking, but now God knows anything goes. With Sutton Foster at the helm, this revival was welcomed back to Broadway by critics and audiences alike in the early 2010s. It received nine nominations, winning Best Revival of a Musical and Best Choreography. Foster also won her second Tony for her portrayal of Reno Sweeney. Performing the title number, the company proved why this show is always a firm fan favorite. Catchy music, a talented cast, and an unbelievable tap dance break. What's not to love? And to think that they did all this eight times a week. We're exhausted just watching. But we'll happily sit back and relax while the pros show us how it's done. <laughs> Number 14. You Don't Know and I Am The One from Next to Normal. 63rd Tony Awards. And feel jealous of the dead. 
delving into one family's experiences with mental illness, Next to Normal is full of songs that explore the angst, turmoil, and pain of dealing with loss. The original Broadway cast included Alice Ripley, J. Robert Spencer, and Aaron Tveit, who all gave an incredibly gripping and heart-rending rendition of You Don't Know and I Am The One here. The songs illustrate the family's struggles, and the intensity of their acting is simply mind-blowing. The musical was nominated for 11 Tony Awards that year, winning three. They took Best Original Score, Best Orchestration, and Alice Ripley won Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Musical. Who I am, you don't know who I am, you just don't know who I am. Number 13, I Believe from the Book of Mormon. 65th Tony Awards. Ever since I was a child, I tried to be the best. So what happened? My family and friends all said I was blessed. So what happened? Making another appearance on our list, Andrew Rannells made audiences laugh out loud as devout Mormon missionary Elder Price. This hilarious, albeit playfully irreverent number, points out some of religion's eccentricities. All in good spirits, of course. I believe that God has a plan for all of us. I believe that plan involves me getting my own planet. While it's not the musical's grandest showstopper, Reynolds single-handedly and excellently encapsulates the tongue-in-cheek vibe of Matt Stone and Trey Parker's satirical musical. Rannells was nominated for his role, along with Josh Gad, who played the elder Cunningham to his elder Price. Although neither won, the show still took home nine Tony Awards, including Best Musical, Best Orchestrations, and Best Original Score. I Number 12, Spring Awakening Medley, 61st Tony Awards. Mama who bore me, mama who gave me no way to handle things. Exploring teenage sexuality at the end of the 19th century, Spring Awakening blossoms with moving songs about angst, confusion, and rebellion. This musical's original Broadway cast, which included the likes of Jonathan Groff and Leah Michelle, stole the show at the 2007 Tony Awards. The company presented three songs woven into one deeply effective performance. They all have different melodies, but each perfectly encompasses the frustration tied to adolescence. Gaining applause from every corner of Radio City Music Hall, Spring Awakening ultimately took home eight Tony Awards, including Best Musical. Number 11, We'll Take a Glass Together from Grand Hotel. 44th Tony Awards. We'll take a glass together in celebration of our meeting. The late Michael Jeter lit up the stage and brought us so much joy in his unforgettable appearance as Otto Kringlein. It's a bittersweet story about a terminally ill man who plans to live out his final days in luxury. We'll ask no why or whether We'll spend each moment Yes, we will! As it moves us And it moves us Come, my comrade, comrade This song sees him indulge in a drink or several and dance as if he's made entirely of jelly. It's seriously impressive, and you can imagine how this number would totally steal the show. Grand Hotel received 12 nods, winning five, including Best Direction of a Musical and Best Choreography for Tommy Toon. Jeter won Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical, too. 
reducing us to tears with his heartfelt acceptance speech. You think life can't change and that dreams can't come true, then I stand here as living proof that you can stop. It changes a day at a time and dreams come true. Number 10, Sugar Daddy from Hedwig and the Angry Inch, 68th Tony Awards. I've got a sweet tooth for licorice drops and jelly rolls. Hey, Sugar Daddy. We all know that Neil Patrick Harris is a triple threat, but his Hedwig is simply electrifying. Harris reportedly told The Hollywood Reporter that embracing the character's femininity and mastering heels was particularly challenging. Although, watching him, you'd never know. He takes the show into the audience, making himself rather comfortable among the showbiz elite. Even his co-star Lena Hall was apparently stunned as he treated Orlando Bloom to a car wash, gave Sting a lap dance, and even saved some extra sugar for his husband David Burtka. Hedwig picked up four awards, with one unsurprisingly going to Harris for Best Leading Actor in a Musical. Number 9. Dust and Ashes and the Abduction from Natasha, Pierre, and the Great Comet of 1812. 71st Tony Awards. They say we are asleep until we fall in love. We are children of dust and ashes. Why showcase just one song? That's exactly what this musical, based on a 70 page segment of the novel War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, decided to do. Audiences got to hear crowd pleasers like Dust and Ashes and The Abduction. was led by multi-platinum recording artist Josh Groban, who was making his Broadway debut as the titular Pierre. Fans of the show were also given the opportunity to join the cast on stage. Despite leading the nominations that year with 12 nods, they only nabbed wins in two categories. This only proved how underrated this show was. <laughs> Number 8. Rose's Turn from Gypsy, 57th Tony Awards. Here she is, world! Here's Rose! Broadway royalty incarnate, Bernadette Peters had to storm onto this list at some point. Peters earned a Tony nomination for her portrayal of Mama Rose in the 2003 revival of Gypsy. During that year's ceremony, she lit up the stage with her rendition of Rose's Turn. Mama's all alone, Mama doesn't care, Mama's letting loose, Mama's got the stuff, Mama's letting go, Ma Ma Mama's got the stuff, Mama's got to move, Mama's got to go, Ma This song not only demonstrates Rose at her most domineering, but also at her most vulnerable as she finally breaks down. It takes a special kind of actress to hit so many different notes at once, but Peters was more than up to the task. Oh, someone tell me, what is it my turn? Don't I get a dream for myself? Starting now, it's gotta be my turn. Gateway world, get off of my runway. Where Rose is sometimes depicted as an over-the-top theater mom, Peters brought a real sense of humanity to the character, making the role her own. Number 7. History Has Its Eyes on You and Yorktown The World Turned Upside Down from Hamilton, 70th Tony Awards. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known. When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story 
Lin-Manuel Miranda and company were the toast of Broadway at the 2008 Tony Awards when they performed In the Heights and 96,000 from In the Heights. Several years later, Miranda topped himself somehow with another award show darling, Hamilton. Immigrants, we get the job done. When President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama introduce a Tony-nominated musical, something special is clearly in store for the audience. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. I I I tell us spying on the British government. I take the measurements of information and then I smuggle it. The Hamilton cast did not disappoint with their performance of Yorktown, which finds the Continental Army on top of a world turned upside down. Although this number is usually performed with muskets, the cast decided to forego the presence of firearms in the wake of the 2016 Orlando nightclub shooting. This made the performance all the more poignant and important. Number 6. Newsies Medley 66th Tony Awards This change coming once and for all You makes the front page and man you is major news This Disney cult classic was clearly destined for life upon the stage, as best seen in this energetic medley led by Jeremy Jordan. Fans of the movie got to see that same magic recaptured through these undeniably catchy songs and ambitious dances. However, if you thought the choreography was something in the film, you ain't seen nothing yet. This talented ensemble gives us an animated showstopper full of the most impressive athletic and acrobatic moves. So, you won't be surprised to learn that one of their two Tony wins was for Best Choreography. Numbers like this prove why there's really nothing like live theater. Number 5. Circle of Life from The Lion King 52nd Tony Awards Bringing an animated epic to the stage is no easy endeavor, especially when all the characters are animals. With a visionary director like Julie Taymor helming the project, though, anything is possible. The Lion King ruled the 1998 Tony Awards while also enthralling viewers with a performance of Circle of Life. <laughs> It's impossible not to erupt into applause from the second CD Le Loca hits her first note. Utilizing stylized costumes and puppets, an animal kingdom invades the theater. As elephants and rhinos stomp through the aisles, the audience becomes a part of the experience. Once Lion Cub Simba is finally presented, we truly feel connected to the circle of life, demonstrating the power of theater. Number 4. Seasons of Love and La Vie Boheme from Rent, 50th Tony Awards. With its relevant themes, relatable characters, and infectious rock songs, Rent is often cited for spawning a new generation of theater lovers. The late Jonathan Larson's musical magnum opus won big at the 1996 Tony Awards, with the cast performances of Seasons of Love and La Vie Boheme bringing down the house. Seasons of love. 
These are two of the most life-affirming songs in the history of musical theater, encouraging artists to follow their dreams and people everywhere to live every day to the fullest. If you weren't a rent head already, you definitely were after this performance. La Viva Number 3. Mysterious Ways and I'm Here from the Color Purple Revival, 70th Tony Awards. Starting with the lively Mysterious Ways, the cast of the Color Purple certainly caught our intrigue in the mid 2010s. And now that they had our attention, it was time for something completely different. The spirited song transitions into this iconic 11 o'clock number, with the eventual Tony-winning Cynthia Erivo's I'm Here leaving us with goosebumps. After her phenomenal performance, we had no doubt that stardom was up ahead. Her voice is stunning, and the emotion she puts into every lyric is spectacular. The actress received a well-earned standing ovation from the Beacon Theatre audience. We're sure the people watching from home couldn't resist jumping to their feet either. Number 2, At the End of the Day and One Day More from Les Miserables, 41st Tony Awards. At the end of the day, you're another day older, and that's all you can say for the life of the poor. It's a struggle, it's a war, and there's nothing that anyone's giving, for the race standing about, what is it for? Les Mis had taken London by storm, and now it seemed like it was destined for the same success on Broadway. One day more. Another day, another destiny, this never-ending road to Calvary. Then, at the Tonys, the cast subsequently proved that the music was strong and stirring enough to win over audiences. After all, not many shows could literally choreograph stepping back and forth and still move their audiences. One day more! The show won Best Musical and has continued to be a theatrical phenomenon ever since. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Miss Saigon Medley, 45th Tony Awards. A sampling of the 11 time nominated show. I still believe the time will come when nothing keeps us apart. I hope I get it and won from a chorus line, 30th Tony Awards. If they were also hoping for nine Tony Awards, they got it. Matilda the Musical Medley, 67th Tony Awards. This show, based on Roald Dahl's classic, took home five Tony Awards. I've Decided to Marry You from A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, 68th Tony Awards. This performance alone was worthy of a Tony to join the other four they won that year. How happy I'd be to be at your disposal. My darling, of course I accept your proposal. Now we should kiss. That would be bliss. Darling, but first I'll say this. I decided to marry you. 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 
Defying Gravity from Wicked, 58th Tony Awards. This 10-time Tony-nominated musical still manages to drop jaws with this show-stopping number. Take our message back from me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. It's All Over and I Am Telling You I'm Not Going from Dreamgirls, 36th Tony Awards. Now it's over you. It's all over. And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going is the definition of a showstopper. Over the years, many gifted actresses have hit this torch song out of the park. However, it will forever belong to the actress that originated the role of Effie White, Jennifer Holliday. In addition to winning a Tony for her mesmerizing portrayal, Holiday blew everyone away with her performance at the 1982 award ceremony. At this point in Dreamgirls, Effie has been betrayed and abandoned by her loved ones. Yet that doesn't stop her from singing her heart out, refusing to give up on her dream of superstardom. By the time it's over, you'll be racing to catch your breath. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.